A major part of updating my Adams Family Pinball game is replacing the original dot matrix display with a new color LED type DMD. I'll explain the difference later as well as why I chose the LED type instead of the more common LCD type. But first, let's unbox it and see what we've got. The unit arrived four days after ordering and came very securely packaged. Inside was the DMD unit itself, a couple of cables, a jack plug, some spacers, and a sheet of paper explaining where to get an online installation guide and firmware updates. Installation requires a Phillips screwdriver, a 5 16 nut driver, and a thumb drive. So, Let's rep out the old DMD and get this bad boy installed. Remove the speaker board, lay it flat, and use the nut driver to remove the four nuts holding the DMD in place. Then remove the two cables and carefully lift out the DMD unit. Although it can be sold online, I recommend keeping it with the game in case the next owner wants to return the machine to its original configuration. The heavier of the two cables connects to J604, which is located here. J604 is printed below and to the left of the plug. The instructions say to remove this cable, but it's so tangled up with other cables that would be hard to do. I just covered both ends with plastic bags and taped them in place. Next, I removed the four original spacers and replaced them with the shorter spacers provided with the new display. The new DMD goes in place with the arrows located here pointing toward the top of the speaker board. Secure it with the four nuts that held the original board in place. The shorter spacers result in the screws extending too high for the nut driver with its handle, so use the socket by itself with your fingers, letting the screw feed up through the center hole as you tighten the nut. Only tighten the nuts finger tight or the board may warp. Insert the single plug end of the power cable into the board. Locate J116, remove the existing cable and insert the other end of the new cable into it. Push the original cable into the second plug on the end of the new cable using the male to male adapter. Okay, we're almost done. Plug the 14 pin ribbon cable into the DMD with the red stripe on the cable toward the top of the speaker board. The final step is to go to the Color DMD website support page and download the firmware for the DMD onto a thumb drive. It only takes a fraction of a second. Turn on the game and let it finish cycling to open. and press the small button on the far left of the row of four buttons down for about five seconds. The download takes about a minute. The indicator light next to done goes green when it's complete. After that, remove the thumb drive, put the speaker board back in the machine, and you're done. With the back glass removed, the control buttons can be accessed. The one on the far right is the selector control. The one to its left increases the value of whatever has been selected, and the one next over to it decreases it. Continue pressing the right button to get to the save option, press the button to its left, and you're done. Once that's done, it's time to fire this monster up and see what it looks like.
For several scenes, I'm going to switch between the original DMD and the new color DMD to show how it changes the look of the game. I chose an LED dot matrix display instead of an LCD type because research indicated it was brighter, the colors were more saturated, contrast was greater, and it remained brighter when viewed off to one side. As you can see from just the opening credits, it looks simply amazing. Let's work through some game scenes and see how they change. If you see some glare from the DMD, it's caused by light reflecting off the speaker board's cover glass. Carefully cleaning it before installing the new color DMD helps reduce this. So, that should provide an idea of what an LED type color DMD looks like when it's in an Adams Family pinball game. Installation only takes 15 minutes and as far as I'm concerned, it's well worth the time and expense. I hope you found this video helpful if you're thinking about upgrading your own game to a color DMD. Thanks for watching!